Happy Friday, Ronchar Ranchers. I hope everybody had a wonderful week and that you are enjoying this beautiful weather if you're in one. As you can see, Louie is enjoying his dinner, which now includes not only his applesauce, but his farrier's formula. We started that on uh, Tuesday, and uh, hopefully that will help with his uh, increasing the strength of his soul and hoof growth. Um, we ended up uh, doing some spring cleaning and um, this is actually a, a stone pad that we have underneath and uh, when we did some cleanup, um, Louie wasn't able to walk on it, like at all. So back on with his boots. He just, he wouldn't even come for his, uh, for his applesauce. That's how bad he was hurting. Like, he just stood there in the barn because his feet hurt so bad. So, we put him back in his boots, as you can see. Um, we don't have to worry about the wetness because it's super dry right now. And, uh, so he is much, much happier. He's out and about. And, uh, so he's, he's much happier in his boots. So it usually takes about three weeks to see any kind of, uh, improvement with the farrier's formula. So, uh, we're, we're looking forward to, uh, hopefully seeing some positive results. The other thing with Lulu is that, uh, his chiropractic appointment is set for Tuesday super stoked about that um, hopefully uh, Rob will be able to um, adjust him and make him, his back feel better and we'll see um, you know what Rob thinks about um, his you know treatment plan um, for those that are new um, we actually use two chiropractors. Um, one is Dr. Bonnie from uh, Henderson Equine Clinic. And when she is booked up, we then um, use Rob. Um, Rob actually found out that um, Jesse, who was one of the Belgian bombshells, had um, TMJ which is, um, in layman's terms, um, it's the same as TMJ in humans, where the, the jaw gets out of alignment and kind of uh, locks up. And he was having some issues with uh, not eating. So it turns out that um, Rob found the TMJ and adjusted him. And uh, Jesse was then back to eating and uh, was a super happy camper that he was able to eat again. So we're hoping that uh, Rob can do his magic again with Louie and that um, he's able to um, adjust his, his rear end, which we think his pelvis might be out of alignment. Um, so fingers crossed on that. We will obviously keep you updated on that. Um, other than that, um, Louie has been doing well with the heat. Um, he knows what his limitations are, so he has uh, been staying in the barn in the hard, hot, hot, hotter parts of the day. And then uh, at night there, um, you know, when it starts to cool down, he is, he is out and about. Aren't you, buddy boy? You're all done. He, to, he likes to make sure that everything is out of his bowl. Good job, buddy. So we're we're excited about about Tuesday and and getting him, you know, closer to feeling better. It's going to be a slow process. It's not going to be a, any kind of silver bullet that we're going to be able to to make him feel better. You know. So we'll just keep on keeping on. Up. Nope. 
off to some water. And there's Charlie boy. So that's pretty much it for Louie. He's he's doing well. We're excited about He's got his boots back on. So let's go over and see Barney and Lou and uh, Gabby. Sorry about that, guys. The wireless out here is, the Wi-Fi out here is not the best. So I, when I go from one side to the other, I keep losing you guys. <laughs> but, uh, so Gabby. Um, Gabby is set, is scheduled for another set of x-rays on Monday. Um, Dr. Lauren is concerned with the hole that's in her hoof. Um, so we're going to do another set of x-rays and see what's going on. Um, she was started on Farrier's Formula at the exact same time that Lulu was. Um, but in addition, we've also um, started applying um, hoof clay, which is by the same company that makes Farrier's Formula. So it's a, it's a um, more organic... Actually, it is an organic um, compound. Um, there's not a lot of harsh chemicals or anything in it. Um, and uh, it's made with tea tree oil, um, betadine, and some other things that I can't pronounce nor remember. Um, so, hi baby girl. Oh, she did a lover. Um, so um we she only needs that applied two two days a week um so thursdays and mondays we apply that um she was a champ with doing it hi baby girl so as you can see her boot is is on as well and i don't not quite sure where she's cruising to but um as you can see she's much livelier <laughs> um she's she's up and about um she She's still a little a little sore once she gets started walking, um, and that's I think that really is um, because that she's she does have significant arthritis in that leg as well, um, so I can relate to that. Um, the other uh, positive thing that is going on with her is that um, I had mentioned that her urine got um became an unusual color um we put her on some electrolytes and we have seen positive results her urine is back to its normal color and uh, as you can see she's she's much more uh spunkier and wants to walk around and um it turns out that she really doesn't like the heat very much, though. Um, so what she does is she spends most of the day in the barn. And then as soon as it gets cool enough for her, she spends the rest of the evening out in the pasture. So she knows to stay in here to, to stay out of the sun um, and not overheat. And... Uh, she hasn't been laying down as much. Um, today she was actually up quite a bit. Um, I don't know if that's also because it's it's so hot for her that it's easier if she stands up instead of um, radiating the heat when she's laying down because um, she does get really hot, like really hot. Um, even when it wasn't, you know, 80s and almost 90s, she would, she was sweating and, um, you know, she was, before we cleared it up, it was make, she was making mud in here. So, um, I'm, I'm assuming that it, it's a little cooler for her if she's standing up and the, the air is flowing. So, um, you know, fingers crossed, positive thoughts for the x-rays on, on Monday, um, that she is is healing up and that we're making we're making progress um, you know just because she's walking better um, and is up and about doesn't necessarily mean that we're out of the woods yet um, you know 
horses have an incredible ability to hide pain and hide how badly they're hurting. So um, I'm hoping that, that that's not the case this time, that she actually is on the road to recovery and she is feeling better. Um, oh, thanks, Michelle. We appreciate all the positive thoughts you can send Gabby and Louie's way. <clears throat> so, um, you know, many of you may know the old saying, you know, no hoof, no horse. Um, you know, she has some significant um, healing to do to, to bring that hoof back. So um, we're just, we're hoping that she's on the, on the right track and that, um, and that the, the x-rays will, will show that as well. And it's not going to, not going to show something else that's wrong with it. Um, uh, yeah, we did, um, we did discuss Louis x-rays, Michelle. Um, what, what ended up happening was that, uh, he does have, um, navicular in that right front hoof that, um, is causing him pain so the navicular uh, bone is deteriorating um, not significantly um, but enough that it's causing him problems and the other um, the other issue that he has in his hoof is um, is that he has very flat feet and has a very very thin sole so um, it's almost like he's walking directly on the ground and has no cushioning so that's why we put him back into his um his boots because he um when we cleaned up the barn and his area over there um the it's a stone pad um he wasn't able to walk at all so um the spinal x-rays showed that his spine is absolutely normal, so he doesn't have any kissing spine or anything like that. He does have one section that the vertebrae are just a little closer, but nothing that they're touching and should be causing him any pain. So um, so that was the results of, of uh, Louis' exam. Thank you, thank you for asking. Um, so that's it on, on Gabby Girl. Over to Barney Bear. Barney, Barney has been doing well. Um, you know, he doesn't, he really doesn't like the heat. Um, but he has been um, doing very, very well. Not quite sure what he's doing at the moment, though. Um, but he has, he has been doing well. Um, he, uh... Gabby decided to make a liar out of me and lay down. <laughs> but uh, no, Barney's been doing very, very well. Um, we're, we are continuing with his um, with his red light treatment. Um, we're hoping for Bonnie to, to come out and work on him. Um, you might be asking why we're not having Rob work on him. Um, Barney is better with females than he is males. Um, he gets, unless it's Mark, <laughs> he gets uh, very, very frazzled when men come around. Um, so for obviously a chiropractic adjustment, there needs to be some trust that Barney feels towards the, the individual that's working on him. Um, obviously, especially because he's blind. He has that with Bonnie. Um, he's very, very good with Bonnie. Um, he's, he's very, he's very relaxed. So, um, hi buddy. So we're, we're going to hold off. Um, the reason that we, uh, Dr. Bonnie couldn't come out for over a month for Louie. Um, so I didn't want to wait that long. Um, I want to get Louie on the road to recovery. So, um, you know, Barney is is walking around a lot more, um, and while he's not, he's he's never going to be 100. Um, percent 
Um, that's, that's just how it is with him. It's his age and the work that he's done over the course of his life. Um, but he's not getting, he's not getting stuck. Um, he doesn't seem to be in pain like he was before. So, hi buddy boy. Hi buddy boy. I love love. So, um, I made the call that we can, we can wait a month, uh, for Bonnie with him. So... Right, sweet pea. But other than that, he's he's doing very very well. Um, you can see he's almost completely shut out. Oh, and you can really see his dapples. I love his dapples. But um, yeah, when it's winter time, you can't you can't see him. But as soon as he starts shedding out, they pop right out, and they really they really show really nicely on video. But he's he's doing well. You can see he's uh, he has uh, well maybe you can't see, but he's gained a little weight since uh, the grass has started to grow and he's out on on pasture. Um, I mean he's out on pasture all the time, but the pasture is growing so he can eat that. Um, it's actually easier for him to eat uh, the grass, and I think he gets more out of it than he does the hay. Um, he because he doesn't have very many teeth, he, he struggles with the, with the hay. But he seems to be, he seems to be uh, a better eater with the, uh, with the grass. So, that's how the big guy's doing. Right, Barney Bear? You can see Gabby is trying to eat while she's laying down. She's such a goofball. Oh, the antics of Gabby girl. But that's pretty much for uh, this week, guys. Um, like I said, positive thoughts for Gabby girl on Monday and uh, Lulu on Tuesday. Um, as always, I will keep you guys updated. I'll post some pictures. Um, and easy burn. The other, one last thing I want to talk about, easy buddy, is, uh, easy bud, is that, um, you know, I find it interesting how, um, close Gabby and Barney have gotten, um, since she's been sick. When she's not, um you know, feeling well or when she's concerned over over something, she's actually seeking him out and nuzzling next to him. You can see what she's doing it right now. Not that she's uncomfortable or anything, but, you know, there was a time when she really didn't seek out um, his attention. And, you know, now she likes to touch him and the other day she was trying to groom him he didn't quite understand what her intention was. She was licking, and uh, and uh, he actually uh, walked away when all she was trying to do was was uh, groom him a little bit. But um, I, I find it very interesting how their how their relationship has has been evolving. <laughs> oh, these two. But yeah, um, so that's it for this week. Um, I will keep you guys updated on everything that's that's going on with Gabby and and Louie. Um, if you guys have any questions about you know chiropractic or anything like that or what's going on with Louie, please just reach out and we'll be happy to uh, to fill you in on everything that's going on. So, Rolling Chai Ranchers, I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and uh, be well, be safe, and uh, we will see you and talk to you next week. Bye, everyone.